All right, it's Mike and Denise. We're back with the review and comment on the plant-based news. And Denise found a good article to read for us today that is actually brand new because this is early October, 2022. So what do you got? This is from Veg News. It came out October 3rd called, Want the Best Protection from Digestive Cancers? New study says try a plant-based diet. Okay, so, well, so positive stuff for plants. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you are really into this longevity and health stuff, be sure to read my book, which is on YouTube. It's for free. It's at live250.org, L-I-V-E-T-O, 150.org. A plant-based diet can protect you against a variety of cancers affecting the digestive system, according to a study published in the medical journal Frontiers of Public Health. According to the study, authors common digestive system cancers such as liver, esophageal, gastric, and colorectal tumors are among the 10 most significant healthcare issues worldwide. Hmm. Researchers at Shandong University of Traditional Chinese Medicine searched five English databases, including PubMed, Medline, Embase, Web of Science databases, and Scopus, for studies linking diets to cancers of the digestive system. The studies that the researchers analyzed included a total of 3,059,009 subjects. Which that's a lot. 3 million subjects, yeah, that's a lot of research compiled. Which, according to the researchers, provided the power to detect a statistically significant relationship yeah. <laughs> between plant-based diets and digestive cancers or how to avoid them at least. Yeah. The study defined plant-based diets as a diet that excludes any meat, meat products, seafood, any or, meat. or food of animal origin. And Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Are they talking about only animal muscle or are they talking about says food of animal origin? Are they talking about, talking about dairy too? Yes, food of animal origin. So no dairy, okay. dairy and eggs. All right. Because it came from an animal, probably honey too. Yeah, yep. So, characterized by a higher consumption of fruits and vegetables, legumes, and nuts rather than animal products. The results of the studies were meta-analyzed for effect sizes and confidence intervals, and the conclusion suggested that a plant-based diet pattern played a protective factor for the risk of digestive system cancer in the current cohort studies and hmm. case control studies. A protective factor. Yeah, it's a Did they, I, well, let's see, did they go into any more detail besides just that? Yeah. Plant-based diets were statistically significant for pancreas cancer, colorectal cancer, colon cancer, rectal cancer, gastric cancer, liver cancer, and esophageal cancer Wait, in the cohort studies. All right. I, I thought the article was only talking about stomach cancer. Are they talking about anything that's with the digestive system anything here? Anything that through your whole digestive system, apparently. But the title only said stomach, right? But they're saying here that it basically protects against no, anything. No, the, no. the title says want the best protection from digestive cancer. Oh, digestive. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> your I don't digestive know why. system. Oh, your entire digestive kind of system. All right, well, that's good. See? Yeah. So... No statistically significant relationship was found between plant-based diets and colon cancer or rectal cancer. Really? Yeah, not in, the, what? in this study. <laughs> well, I would think that, I think, what I've heard is that red meat basically causes or raises your level or chances of colon cancer dramatically. I've yeah, always heard that. It was processed meat. Processed yeah, meat. That's not red, I thought PCRM. it was red meat too. Well, PCRM was giving away those rectal cancer uh, test kits to the people getting the free bacon burgers. At but these guys are saying there's no detectable difference between animal products and no animal products and, and in both colorectal cancer and prostate cancer? Um, no, they said there's no significance between colon cancer or rectal cancer. Oh, okay, wait. This is all about okay. digestive cancer. Okay, colon. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's <laughs> no, so many cancers. Oh my gosh. Prostate. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. Ca okay, all right. So they're not to forget prostate, but they're saying there's no connection. But I've seen lots of studies that have said the opposite of that. That there's a direct yeah, connection. Yeah, we thought. Yeah, because you know, T. Colin Campbell's own mother had colon cancer, and he thought it was the food that's what caused him to start doing research on yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> 
In summary, it's important to understand and reveal eating habits that make our lives healthier and the important role these habits play in the management and prevention of oncological diseases, the study notes. Our study proposes that a plant-based diet is promising to prevent the de development of cancer. So does meat increase the risk of cancer? Conversely, the study noted that diets containing red or processed meat are yeah. associated with a growing risk of digestive system mm -hmm. cancers. According to the World Health Organization, processed meats such as bacon, ham, and sausage are group one carcinog carcinogenic. Yep. Highest and level cancer causers. Red meat such as beef and pork is linked to colorectal, pancreatic, and prostate cancers. Yep. I think that the, the red meat in general is, is, I think, a level two cancer causer, and the processed red meats are level one, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so this study does mention that, but it, 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 they're finding the, the correlation between red meat and colorectal cancer, but they're not saying that a plant based diet will prevent it. Because maybe that okay. evidence isn't there. That's, Weird. Well, let's put it this way: you could have processed plant faux meats. This is this is what I've kind of wondered about too over the time. I don't really think those are health food; that they're like uh, something to, to get people off with their habits, you know, of eating meats, and they're a junk food in my mind. Uh, they still don't contain some of the things like TMAO or just the animal muscle in general or other carcinogens but they're not health promoting, okay? So that could be why. I'm, I'm thinking, because if someone's eating that, instead of the animal products, they may not have any kind of protection against cancer. I don't know, maybe that's what the study's showing. Yeah, maybe. A study published earlier this year in the medical journal BMJ found that a high consumption of ultra-processed foods comes with a 29% increased risk of colorectal cancer in men. And that could be plant products, processed right? Uh, Ultra-processed. It could be. The research from Tufts University and Harvard University noted the strongest association between colorectal cancer and ultra-processed foods come from meat, poultry, and fish products. Okay. We started out thinking that colorectal cancer could be the cancer most impacted by diet compared to other cancer types. Lu Wang, the study's lead author and postdoctoral fellow at Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts said in a statement, Processed meats, most of which fall into the category of ultra-processed foods, are a strong risk factor for colorectal cancer, Wang said. Ultra-processed foods are also high in added sugars and low in fiber, which contribute to weight gain and obesity. And obesity mm -hmm. is an established risk factor for colorectal cancer. Okay, and this is true whether it's the plant-based version of the faux meats or if it's the animal product version, right? Right, if it's uh, obesity, you're still increasing your risk of cancer. Yep, and you're not getting fiber. A lot of times you get the, the protein isolate from the plants in there, but you don't get any actual fiber or very little in the plant-based faux meats keep that in mind. Similarly, another study published last year in the Journal of Cancer Discovery identified a DNA mutation that could account for this relationship between eating meat and colorectal cancer. The research conducted by Dana Faber, conducted by the Dana Faber Cancer Institute in Boston, sequenced the DNA from 900 colorectal patients and found a common mutation or uh, alkylation, a, which is significantly associated with patients who consumed both processed and unprocessed red meat prior to their cancer diagnosis. The chemical compounds found in red meat, such as nitroso and heme, are believed yeah. to cause this alkylation. Yeah, that's in the red meat. That's in all, That stuff's only in the animal products. Yeah, we've heard about heme. <laughs> but also, like with the with the plant based stuff, the meats, um, there's lots of high sodium levels in those things, just like there are in the processed uh, animal product meats as well. High sodium, so they're similar like that. Yeah. Well, not all cells with this mutation damage turned cancerous. Head researcher and oncologist Marios. Gini, Gignacus 
found that patients with the highest levels of this mutation had a 47% greater risk of colorectal cancer death in comparison to mm. patients with a lower level of damage. So this is a gene damage? Yeah. So, it, yeah. Wait, okay. It changes your DNA. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the, it changes the expression of your genes. People say, oh, I got bad genes. Well, no, I mean, it, what you, yeah, your, your food is like information to your body and tells it how to express the genes or forces it into like a defensive mode if it's trying to maintain its health, you know, because it will whether you want to or not. It'll try and it'll change the expression of the genes to get your attention, you know, yeah. for you to do something about it. Researchers are hopeful that these findings can be used to help individuals prevent colorectal cancer or at least catch it at an earlier stage. When it comes to colon cancer, another study conducted by a team of internal, international researchers and scientists at the University of Leeds found that women who consume meat increase their chances of contracting distal colon cancer. Mm. Our research is one of the few studies looking at this relationship, while further analysis in a larger study is needed. Lead author Diego Rada Fernandez de Hiragi said, it could prevent, it, it could provide valuable information for those with a family history of colorectal cancer and those working on prevention. So it's a good article. That's it? <laughs> share this with my meat loving friends all right yeah share this video too if you got some let, give us some comments if you give us your thoughts about this like the video subscribe to the channel share it with everybody please we want to get the word out so we're doing this and go get some exercise this also helps yes. preventing cancer right get outside your body is designed to exercise you got two arms and two legs so you got to move them around daily aerobic exercise i'll talk about that in my book too live to 150 at liveto 150.org Anything else? Nope. That's it? Bye. Bye.